hello guys uh, good uh, afternoon you are welcome once again to my channel you are welcome to catfish uh, solution academy in here we give you in-depth information about catfish farming as you know and uh, today i'll be going further on my topic that means our uh, lecture on fish farming which we'll be talking i told you we'll be doing this concurrently at least three times a week we'll be giving you a very good lecture about cartridge farming so presently we are starting with a feed uh, formulation and concentration which is uh, the most uh, viable part of fish farming that is taking virtually all your money away that means it's taking well over 70 to 80 percent of our daily uh, running expenses and if you don't think this is important i will tell you this is important feed formulation and concentration are very big aspect of cartridge farming that you need to know and uh, you need to talk cognizance of that means you need to know how to tackle how to feed your fishes how to maneuvering your way in the feeding that means i'm not telling you to cut corners now because i do understand lot of people how they are cutting corners and that is where they are having problems the it, this is all about garbage in garbage out is what you hate that your body tissues will bring out yeah if you see a very healthy man that this is an healthy man you have to look at them from their skin this is important and if you see an obese that, that they are not hidden there are some people that have tendency of uh, of being obese that being uh, big and uh, the they are not feeding as required. That means they are not concentrating their feed well. I'm talking about women now. So by the time you look at them with a tiny person that is feeding well, that means the balance of the food is being them is is balanced. You will see the difference. The skin will show. The 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 in short the, the physique will show. So it is important for you to do that too as well for your fishes. So that is why sometimes when you go to the market you saw some fishes at the basin that means at the bath placed by this uh, so-called market woman and by the time you look at the physique the fishes the agility the the ruggedity of the fishes you will see that these fishes are being fed well why these fishes are not fed well i can recall uh, some times ago when a uh, because there's a fish i did and i sell them for the pepper soup uh, seller in my area that means i tell to the bars and the hotels because to tap into other value chain to add values to my fishes because the price of which these uh, women are buying are not concurring by me so i had to get the people soup seller around me and the bars and bear around me to sell for them there is i noticed when i called one of them and the person came and he called me again around two hours and she told me please i should not sell to any other person anymore i said why well, he said because the fishes are very very good when he kills them he saws the number of a flow of a blood that comes out from them these fishes are fed very well and they are eating very well. that means they are, the customers like it very well so this tells you the amount of uh, the concentrate that you input into your fishes that will give that your fishes that desired a weight that needed at the given period that means the growth of their body tissues will be uh, the one you needed at that particular given period once again i told you this um, lecture is been a concurrent lecture on cartridge farming now that will be released here at least three times a week so that means note that we are going to have a comprehensive uh, lecture on cartridge farming that will be talking on a daily basis here on cartridge solution academy so if you have not joined if you are not subscribed to this channel make sure that you do that now if you thought you are interested in fish farming or you have a friend a nephew a cousin that is interested in fish farming make sure that this is a high time for you to call them to come on board to listen to this lecture this lecture will help one or two people to grow to work stronger in their business on a daily basis so from my last episode this is i think this is the fourth episode we'll be talking about today from the third episode i talked about what we call the ranges of fish sizes from infantry that means from friars to uh, to jumbo yeah so i think that is where we'll be continuing today 
and uh, for that let's just just a, a, a short break and we continue after this So once again, you are welcome. We will be talking about uh, your feed formulation and concentration. My name once again still remain Odutola is TM, your great uncle on this channel. So today I will be moving forward in talking about the recommended feed size for your big fishes. What are the big fishes that we have? We have our big fishes from juvenile stage. I told you earlier that you start your counting from juvenile size and as we are count, starting the counting from juvenile size so I'll be taking it from what we call uh, I think I stopped at post juvenile which is jumbo earlier so for those of you who have not followed this uh, episode of our lecture please make sure that you go back or press up here I'll be giving a link up here that will take you to our episode 3 so from the episode 3 you can continue with the 4 and you can really understand what we have talked about in catfish feed formulation and uh, concentration so today i'll be going further i'll be talking about the sizes of uh, feed that is required to give your fishes at a big size we will be taking the big size from the post juvenile and uh, the sizes of post juvenile ranges from 50 to 150 grams so it takes from 50 to 150 grams and the sizes of fish feed the head is 3 mm and uh, if you are giving them local feed there's what we call i told you i've done the introduction to you before our local feed and the foreign feed the local feed are mainly we call our local feed are mainly sinking feed and the dye of local feed are bigger than the dye of the foreign feed but note we also have what we call our extruded uh, pellet uh, uh, feed here which is locally made here you can do that yourself you can get the machinery through us we sell the ranges of materials for your machine for your production of your feed check on my side on my background you will see different size of uh, machines we have we have from uh, the one that produces from 100 uh, 100 kg per hour to the one that produces of one ton per hour and you can there we have the complete line for our pelletizer that means our extruder the uh, the complete line you'll be seeing it strolling on the screen we have it we have from the uh, from the crusher which we call the pulverizer that means pulverizer mean from where you put your uh, your so your material into your machine that is where it started from this is this will crush the material and will powder it pulverizer we told it to pure powder so that you can uh, easily produce what we call a very smooth and a very clean feed so after the pulverizer this will go to what we call the mixer and after the mixer this will what we call the burner and after the burner it goes into your extruder to extrude your feed after the extraction this will go into what we call the dryer and after the dryer this can if you are into packaging this will go into what we call the oil spilling machine and after the oil spilling machine this will call to go this will go into what we call the packaging and after the packaging the sealing after the sealing all is done so you can conveniently have your feed produced to you on an hourly basis being packed for you if you want to go into that with all this we have all those machines available and if you need any of this if you any any instruction on this make sure that you contact the number you are seeing on this screen and i'll give you details analysis on how to operate on how to concentrate a very good feed for your fishes on how to move on with this uh, business so make sure that you don't do that now if you're having those challenges so i said earlier that from then you now go to what we call the melange the melange uh, uh is a greek um a slagon which uh, is a which comes from mela mela means all different size of anything for example if you have phones if your phones or you know phones are not of the same sizes they call it melange every anything that you pack together of different sizes it's what we call melange so it's an italian name it's a greek name which we call mela so that's where we extracted 
melange for. So melange are fishes ranges from 150 grams to 400 grams. So that means a fishes from two to, uh, two to one kilo, three to one kilo, four to one kilo, five to one kilo, six to seven to one kilo, depending on how you grow your fishes. And note from this point, I'll still be giving out a video for you on how to feed your fishes on that basis that can conveniently give you what we call a melange. That means we, I will dissect. That means you know I have a book on melon cartridge farming. The book will break down how to feed. Maybe you want to achieve four to one kilo. The amount of feed that will feed for your fishes to four to one kilo, so you, that you won't be overfeeding or underfeeding. So you can get that required percentage of that ranges. If you want five to one kilo, how to feed your fishes for five to one kilo? All these will be narrated to you on this video. So let us continue. So after my lunch, we have. Uh, the they and that melon size they are going to eat four mm of a, a floating feed that means the foreign feed and they are going to take 4.5 of the sinking feed so after then we come to the medium size medium size fishes are fishes that are ranging from 300 grams to 600 grams that means uh, if you from 300 grams to 600 grams all that all the fishes in that pulse are what we call uh, medium sizes and medium sizes Eat 4 mm they you can give them 4 mm size of uh, foreign feed and uh, 4.5 uh, mm of uh, what we call the sinking feed and from there you will now go to what we call the table size table size start from uh, 600 grams and above so you can get 600 grams to 10 kilo depending on the kind of species of fishes you are rearing yes I said 10 kilo because I know if you are the type that like uh, rearing fishes for a very very long time if you have what we call the etrobancos or we have the likes of the what we call the uh, clara's um, the the what we call the hybrid which is a um, clara's comb uh, uh, etrobancos we call it etroclaras etroclaras can commonly give you uh, the sizes at a particular given period for those of you that can raise yours to 10 years i don't know so that is the ranges and with that you can seize them with the the heat the size of feed of like 6 mm and uh, 6 mm to to 9 mm so you can give them 6 mm to 9 mm so from this uh, point uh, we will be we will be going to uh, what we call the feeding frequency feeding frequency if you of your fishes are very very important we call it ff that means the personal recommended uh, feeding frequency that needed to give your fish at a given period because you need to know the percentage of feed that is new for your fishes at a given period so i'll be going through that and i'll be going for that uh, from the fingerling size too as well i know most a lot of people we need to know that and uh, we need to work on that too that we work for them in order not to make mistakes on their feed so with this time you i will be giving you much uh, information on that so i will start on fingerlings now the 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 your finger list you can feed them about two times i do i feed my fishes for my fingerlings two times a day that means i feed in the morning and i feed in the evening and the post fingerlings you feed them i feed my two times a day uh you feed them in the morning you feed them in the evening the juvenile you feed them two times a day you feed them in the morning you feed them in the evening for your post juvenile you feed them two times a day you feed them in the morning you feed them in the evening for your male lunch you do that too as well but if you are getting to the medium size and the table size you can feed them one times a day this is to allow you cut your cost of production so that means this will allow you not to overfeed your fishes this is for you how to calculate your feeding frequency of your fishes note some people do feed for three times a day but if you don't know how to control this you'll be overfeeding and as you are overfeeding and you don't know how to manage your water this will definitely affect you too as well so from this point i'll be going to the next episode which is the episode five so stay tuned to watch episode five